Welcome back, y'all. So, as promised, I'm going to com be comparing today the SIG MCX versus the Venerable AR-15. This one is a Mark 18 pistol. So, rifle versus pistol, SBR, whatever. Yeah, more or less the same thing. Thanks, MFA. So, let's talk about a few key points here. Um, physically, you know, dimensionally. Uh, of course, my, the Mark 18 is heavier because, uh, you know, the DD, a Daniel Defense Wrist 2 rail, it just adds a lot of weight to the gun. However, bomb proof handguard. The handguard on an MCX. I mean, it's a key mod, so it's already been proven that you know M lock were stronger. So that, but if you were to say this was a Virtus with an M lock, okay. M locks already also kind of been proven that not be as, to not be as strong as a good quad rail. Talk about some other things. So yeah, the the AR the Mark eighteen. But the AR with quad rail is going to be heavier, so I'm going to try and avoid that. But let's say, so I'm going to make sure I'm all the way out. Yep. So, <clears throat> Mark 18 versus the MCX in length. So these are both on the edge of the table. You can kind of see that, you know, basically the extra length of the barrel. The, you know, Mark 18 is a 10.3 inch versus the 11.5 of the MCX. It's basically about the difference there. Yeah, about a, makes it about an inch longer. If we try to make it more compact, as compact as it'll go anyway. The, so, makes it shorter, yes. However, MCX does. I don't even know if this is, let me, let me check to see if this is even on camera now. Yeah, okay, so several inches shorter. So if you were wanting something to put in a bag or travel with that you can stow, the MCX can be shorter all day. Yes, you can get a, like a law folder for an AR. So that's kind of splitting hairs. Um, ergonomically, they're both pretty much the same. I mean, you can get, you know, with, I, you, know you could argue, oh, you have Ambi mag release on here but uh you can get ambi lowers for ars too so that's really a moot point um talking about accuracy well mechanical you know mechanical actually neither one's really more going to be more accurate than the other you can get good barrels for ars that run just as well uh you know if this were an 11.5 ar versus 11.3 mc or 11.5 mcx they're both going to shoot the same, essentially. They're both going to have the same terminal ballistics on target. They're both going to have the, the same effective range. That's, yeah, that's a wash there. Magazines, they use the same magazines, same ammunition. So that's a wash. Like I said, ergonomically on the lower, that's really a wash too. Uh, you know, you, yeah, it come, the MCX comes from the factory with the ambi selector so that's one thing but you can get an AV selector on an AR as well <clears throat> talking about triggers well while trigger like guys Lee's aren't terribly cheap you know for ARs you know they're like an SSAE like it's in this uh, you know you're looking at 200 something dollars well uh, you're looking at three something for a guys Lee for this um, so, I mean, but you get the same effect. So the trigger can be just as good as one another. Grips, well, the MCX takes AR grips, so that's a wash as well. I really like the factory grip that mine came with, so I really don't see any reason to change it. <clears throat> Talk about stocks optics and all that it's all pretty much going to be the same between the two the difference will be in 
the stock honest uh, that's really where they depart from each other uh, you know with an AR you have to have a buffer tube of some type unless it's like a PWS or whichever ones that have you know where they don't have need the buffer tube um, you have to have the buffer in a, on an AR even if you have a, like a law folder you still have to have it in the extended you know the unfolded position in order for the gun to function so that's whatever uh, not really a big deal to me because you're not you know people that want to shoot like this sure in a pinch you, you know, there might be one in a million chance where you would need to do that but you know like this gun really doesn't ever even all my folding guns yeah they're cool but they i mean I don't ever leave them in the folded position. They always end up staying like this, so it's kind of like, what's the point? <clears throat> Another point of that. So yeah, you, the, your, your stock options with the MCX are limitless. You can put whatever kind of stock you want on, as long as you can find a way to mount it to pick a team. The one it came with though, if I compare it, I mean, even this pistol brace is, tenfold more comfortable to shoot than this thing yes uh 5.56 five, doesn't recoil a lot but this is cold metal i would paracord this i probably will at some point to just knock down on some of the metal to skin contact but um kind of put it like in a way that would be relative to it's kind of like comparing a Corvette in a Corvette, you know, to a, you know, sedan, like a Cadillac. One's built for comfort, one's built for speed. This is more, I could, I call this an Instagram stock because it looks cool as heck. But in reality, it's, you know, not that great. Uh, like another option, very common. Option since the G1 is the Sop Mod style. This is probably one of my favorite style stocks. And, um, it's just the most comfortable, you know, thicker T H I C C. Um, just way more comfortable on the cheek, no matter where you put your, you know, how you get your head positioned. Kind of like, uh, well, put it in my, putting it crudely, you know, like, uh, Having sex with a supermodel versus <clears throat> having sex with a girl that's got a little bit lower weight to her. One's built for comfort, one's built for speed. You know, one looks cool to show off to your friends, but one's more something you want to live with. <laughs> so, uh, at the end of the day, you know, like AR versus MCX. I love this gun. I think it's cool as hell. You know, Call of Duty Modern Warfare vibes. Uh, however, ARs, yes, this, gun, this is cool as hell too because it's Mark 18, whatever. Um, but living with it, you know, if parts break on this, parts are easily found for AR 15s. You know, you have a buffer go bad, which I've never really even heard of, but if you have a buffer go bad, buffer springs are easy to find, bolt carry groups, you know, bolts. Like on Mark 18, extractors and bolts, you know, wear out. However, you can get them. Whereas MCX. <laughs> so if you have a recoil spring break, you know, the recoil assembly, because of how awkward it is, or unique it is, I should say, uh, good luck. Anything with the bolt assembly is, you know, proprietary. So, you know, if you need to replace the parts, if you can find them, good on you. However, most likely you won't be able to find them because SIG doesn't produce a lot of them. And when they do, they are expensive. So, you know, barrels. If you are someone who actually shoots a lot, a narrow barrel you can get for 100 something bucks, 200 bucks for a good one, you know. Your barrels for MCXs are like five, six hundred dollars. So if you can get them, so you know, 
keeping up with the gun. Granted, most people don't shoot enough in their lifetime to wear out a barrel on a single gun, but if you do, <coughs> I would go AR all day. I mean, you can build an AR for way less than what you can get an MCX for normally. You know, this uh, this this isn't really even a good example because this, you know, like the upper, except for the flash hider, is essentially clone correct. So it costs more, you know, some gray market parts there. But <coughs> um, to give you an example, this is a different AR that I've built. Uh, it's an SPR. But even doing some funky stuff with the AR, you know, like optic, you know, the whole gun cost me less than the MCX did. And I got a really good deal on this MCX. So you could build an AR for cheaper. Um, I wouldn't honestly, unless MCX has become more prevalent down the road and they become cheaper or, you know, and the parts become more available, I honestly wouldn't say this is a good choice as like a first gun or even a second gun. <laughs> unless you have like multiple ARs already and AKs or whatever and you just want to add to your collection like I did, I wouldn't recommend this at all. Um, it's not a good gun to be as your only gun just because like I said parts availability and cost and whatnot so uh, that's pretty much gonna wrap this up that's kind of where I think AR all day if I had to choose again so uh, yeah until next time I'll be back